Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike. Always good to connect with you for a midweek message. Just want you to know that we continue to pray for you. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you're staying safe. I know a lot of you are facing some stress right now because, are, because the kids are going back to school. Just know that we're lifting you before the Lord and your names are being heard in the heavens. Today I want to talk to you about something uh, that's really important, I think, especially in these days. Um, let's pretend that uh, you woke up this morning and discovered that you're out of peanut butter. That's a serious problem. So down to the grocery store you go, into the sandwich spread aisle, you are immediately confronted with choices. Ah, there's Jif, there's Peter Pan, there's Skippy, there's the generic stuff that saves you a few coins, there, there's the, uh, the strange organic stuff that tastes like sawdust. Note to my wife, buy the Jif, we deserve it, believe me. But of course, when you're looking at all that peanut butter, you, you've got a decision to make. You are comparison shopping. And you get to compare products to prices to your family's tastes and desires and all that. You're comparison shopping. Friends, whether you realize it or not, you spend a lot of your week comparison shopping. Everything that you consume, everything that you use over the course of a week, you have options. You have choices. Here in America, we love to have lots of options, lots of choices. Have you driven by a car dealership lately? You have all kinds of choices. But here's something I've learned. It's that when you and I have a comparison shopping mindset, we will always struggle with gratitude. You see, when you're in the comparison shopping mode, it's not only possible that you have options for peanut butter, but it also means that you might take a look at your life and compare it to somebody else's life. Maybe somebody you know, maybe somebody you'll never meet, maybe somebody you read about in a magazine. When you're comparison shopping in life, it's possible that your life will look different or even less than somebody else's. You might look at somebody else's home or their cars or their clothes or their food or their vacations or their handbags or whatever and think to yourself, well, they have something that looks better than what I have. Sometimes comparison shopping even involves things like relationships. Wow, I wish our kids behaved like theirs. Wow, I wish my marriage worked like theirs. Wow, I wish my job functioned like theirs. You get the hint? When we comparison shop, more often than not, we'll come out on the negative there because somebody always has something that looks better than what we have. And friends, if that's your mindset, if you're comparison shopping your way through life, you'll never experience the gift that God has for us called gratitude. You know what I've discovered? I've discovered from traveling abroad, usually for ministry sake, third world countries, Guatemala, Honduras, Uganda, people abroad in third world countries, they don't comparison shop. Because they don't think of themselves individually, they think of themselves communally, they don't compare their life to somebody else's. They want everybody to succeed. You and I live in a world where we do a lot of comparison shopping. And whenever we comparison shop, when we compare our lives to somebody else's, at some point in time, we'll lose our sense of gratitude. God wants you to have a sense of gratitude in your life. He wants your, your uh, relationship with the world around you to be a, a relationship of gratitude. And of course, God loves it when we practice gratitude before him. Friends, skip the comparison shop and buy whatever peanut butter you want. But skip the comparison shopping for the other parts of your life. And just give thanks to the Lord today for everything that you have. Hope you have a great week. Know that we love you and praying for you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.